For the sake of the Thieves Guild, I have to hunt down Carlia and help Mercer Frey, but he's a bit Good. suspicious. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. Did you see her? How do you know she's inside? No, I found her horse. How do you know that's Don't Carlia's worry, horse? Care of it. Uh. She won't be using it to escape. You killed Let's the horse, moving. man. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take Did you lead. have to? You didn't. Wait. I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Well, it sounds clearly that I'm the Just bait. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Uh, don't mind me, just how did Galas die exactly? Twenty-five years ago, I was standing outside these very same ruins. Gallus told me to meet here, but he wouldn't say why. When I arrived, Gallus stepped from the shadows. Before he uttered a sound, an arrow pierced his throat. Before I could even draw my blade, her second arrow found its mark in my chest. Oh, so she took care of both of you? Carlia was a master marksman, and her greatest weapon was the element of surprise. I was lucky. She missed my heart by mere inches. I staggered away from the ruins and my vision began to blur. It's then that I realized the bitch had poisoned her arrows. And Gallus? The last thing I saw was Carlia dumping his body into an opening atop the ruins. An unceremonious end for a remarkable man. To this day I've regretted allowing her to escape, even if it meant I had died trying. I owed Gallus that much. So how were the events after he died? The guild was thrown into disarray. Several stepped up and tried to claim Gallus's former position as guildmaster. Sides quickly formed behind these men and the Ratway became a bloodbath. A bloodbath you part took in? I saw what they did to Gallus. I wanted to use the guild's resources to hunt down Carlia. The others didn't even care he was gone. Fortunately, I persevered and the other groups were either killed or they left Skyrim. And what? She just left? The infighting had taken months to subside, which gave her time to go into hiding and carefully cover her tracks. I spent thousands of septum and used every contact at my disposal. But it was as if she had simply vanished. Like I said before, she was the best. Isn't the Dark Brotherhood the go-to for murder? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. If I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Speaking of which, can you tell me more since I'm leading? She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. Oh, so they were dating. If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. I'm still not getting the motive. Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. If you see Carlia, don't hesitate. Kill her. If you say so, now let's move on. We've got Snowville Sanctum to explore. Keep your eyes open. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. This one doesn't look too difficult. Yeah, for him nothing is too difficult, but Quite things simple, aren't exactly really. what they seem. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how, not a lot of skill. Is it just skill, that though? Do it. Oh, he's playing it so safe. After me, of course. Just stand behind and let the pro do his thing. Quite noisy for someone who claims to be a thief. What do you want about? You are the one that opened the door. Well, the lock. But still, I only opened the door. Now, I am... Um, I'm gonna have to kill a lot of Draugr Deathlords. So let's 
let's speed this a little bit instead of you guys having to watch the same fights you've been seeing a lot of times. I'll just start showing the amount of Death Lords that I'll have to deal with. One thing I can say though, he is not useless, fortunately. But yeah, it's this is all on the Dromoris, let's be honest. Another one down, and there goes another one. Yeah, it's it's a lot. And these are just the Death Lords. The place is infested with Draugr. And guess what? There's so much more. So much more. <sighs> I wasn't really taking this into account when I started the legendary run. But if it's gonna be this much of a pain, fine, let's just 100% Skyrim. And this time, I'm not gonna forget the artifact. So let's now go to the Sanctum. What a weird name, because the place was already called the Snowvale Sanctum. That's... Oh, well. Anyways, another Death Lord. At this point, I'm just speeding this up, because you, uh, you get the idea. So... Can I uh, finally move on? I'm gonna move on. So, for a change, we now have a Death... Death Lord. Oh, sorry, a Death Overlord. And we also have a Shout, so let's see what's in store for us. What's this one gonna be? I'm gonna have to get them all, but this one is... Dazar. Sounds easy enough. I'm sick of fighting Draugr. <laughs> this has already took me a long time in recording, so don't mind me if I take a liberty of making the editing a little bit faster. Unless you want to see every single fight, oh, by all means, let me know. And that was irony. In fact, call it sarcasm, because I'd rather you feel insulted if you ask me to show all the fights. You do that, and I'm gonna do it. No commentary, just for you. Uh, why am I being so sassy? Maybe it's because I know what's gonna happen. Shut up, Mercer, just do it. Yeah, let's get moving. With me leading, right? You have no second interests in me leading. Oh, what's this? Yeah, the game's been out for 12 years, I bet. All of you know, but... Hey. Quote-unquote, cutscene. Lore. I swear, revenge will happen. That's for sure. But anyways, let's let's move on. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Room Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence. But I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards.
He tried to kill me. That mmm. Fortunately, the dragonborn was saved. Joshua Graham, Easy. saved by Carlia. Get up so quickly. How are you feeling? Probably poisoned. No, you shot me. I saved your life. He tried My to kill me. With a unique How am I feeling? It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Okay, at least that Had saved I me. Intended to kill you. We wouldn't be having this conversation. Oh, you're a thief. Not a murderer. My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. Who's that but guy? Never had a clear shot. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm, I'm in conversation, bro. Couldn't you have just waited one little bit? Who are those guys? Oh, they're hired thugs. Thugs. Hired thugs. But sent by whom? Who the hell caught me stealing? No one. No one did. So this one, yeah, okay, there's the contract. I'm gonna have to check that because I'm hella curious. Oh, an East Empire dock split, worker because of the artifact. Of the but no one saw me. Weird. Anyways, back to Carlia. I'll ever realize. The poison on the arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Uh... Alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. Can't we just get proof? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. So, can we run it through a translator, or...? Oh, this is friend at the College of Winterhold. Oh, good! Of course! It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. What's, uh, what's a Nightingale, though? There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Oh, but by the way, uh, why haven't you killed Mercer? You kinda backed down. Mercer lied to the guild, branded me a murderer, and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. What if you don't have a chance the I next time? You, if it comes to that, and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Oh good, you're not set in stone. Okay, I get it. I'm afraid not. Oh, you're not coming to Winterhold? to make, and Gallus's remains to lay to rest. Oh, you do. You would have been as as an amazing follower. But fine. Remember. Speak only to Anther. Trust no one else. Finis Gester has been a cool guy to me, but fine. Let's go meet Anther. He's not in the college. He's Can in the I tavern. Help you with anything else? Yeah, Carlia sent me. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? I do, but there's an issue. No problem. Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. So, translate it. No. Oh. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. A word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Oh, but it should be, because I'm actually friends with Calselmo. Ah, uh, look, I'm very busy, so this better be important. It's very important, so you understand then Falmer, you well language. Informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Falmer Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. 
No, I'm going to ask him to see his work. He's going to say, mm, no thanks, I haven't really finished it, but why can I not just ask him to translate it? Understandable, I just want the translation, man. But well, come on, Feline. to the fact that you've been instrumental in improving my affairs of the heart. Yeah. If you wish, you may enter my tower to view the museum section. But I'm afraid the laboratories are still off limits. That's the best I can offer. Well, that still sucks. I helped you. I got you a date, even though you're an older weirdo. Even though she was kind of into it, so... I shouldn't the judge. The museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Oh well, the court wizard's permission has been granted. Shut the fuck up. Really? Why is that the scripted event after I took the the thing? Now, um, <laughs> I kind of I kind of forgot that I only had permission to to the museum, and I kind of kept going forward. So it's not just the wizards. Guard, that's been aggro. No, this can't be happening. And that's not gonna be the only mistake, so not only have I aggroed some guards, but I made the very poor choice of leaving Icantar go, because I was thinking, hey, maybe he has a quest for when I for when it's Markarth time. Yeah, that's gonna backfire. You'll see soon. Now let me just go through the traps and finally we're on the balcony and we can now access Elselmo's room or study room his tower okay whatever I don't care if he sleeps here or not a skill book that's fine heavy armor to 91 without using it since the first episodes thanks to Farkas ah Let's hope Vilkas can do the same. I'm just gonna keep using the trainer followers that the companions provide me. So to Calselmo Stone, I'm gonna need two items, a roll of paper and charcoal. And it's right here, so no biggie. But if only things were so easy, cause Accidents now like this my man Icantar, who I should not have spared, called in for backup what a douchebag no respect I get no respect from these Skyrim NPCs so I'm just gonna have to carve it upon them through my Demoras oopsie missed the letter through my Demoras no match at all it's what they're gonna say I assume so let me just Pretend I'm Mr. Beast gifting steel arrows to the wizard's guard as the Dromores do mo much of the work. Damn, I tried to say much and most at the same time. That's what I get for speaking too fast on my second language. Nice. Very cool. So, moving on. An Anthir has became a basement dweller. But he's hanging out with Carlia, so it's not Back, that eh? bad. And how is our friend Caselmo? Um. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this. So I yeah, the the Markarth rubbing, guards eh? are not oh, happy. I expected notes. Yeah, well, I expected a lot of things I too, understand. but here now, we let are. Me take a good look at this over here, please. Hmm, this is intriguing but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us. 
So it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulcher. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Emtha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Emtha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Ah, yes, the plot twist that no one saw coming around 12 years ago. Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thanks, my man. You've been helpful. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. And we've got ourselves another fence. If you have further need of me... You must no, no, I'm just almost. sick of hearing NPCs talk, so let's get this over with. <laughs> you've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Yeah, you should elaborate. Everything That's not enough. Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. Well, I would understand it a lot better if, if you explained it. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Fine, let's just do it your way. I'll Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. That's gonna be the Nightingale Blade. The guild isn't willing Said to I'm gonna to put reason. it to good use. She says, I just to. might, in case the guild doesn't listen. So We're gonna have to see Brynjolf, Vex and Delvin's opinions on this. 